हेलो हेलो माइक टेस्ट एंड दैट्स लुकिंग प्रिटी गुड वी हैव द नेट प्रॉफिट ऑफ क्लोज टू नाइन्टी परसेंट सी एच आर इज अगेन क्लोज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट मैक्सिम ड्रॉडाउन इज इन कंट्रोल प्रॉफिट फैक्टर इज फोर पॉइंट फोर एंड वी हैव एक्चुअली मेड अ ग्रेट ट्रेडिंग स्ट्रैटेजी यूजिंग एलिट वेव एंड दैट इज द मोस्ट ऑप्टिमल वे ऑफ हाउ टू यूज ट्रेडो मेड डॉट वन Hello financial programmers I'm Ritwik Dashora and I'm back with a new video and some new learning. If you're here to learn how to use Elliott wave in trading properly then yes you're at the right place. In this video I will be using the same platform which is tradomate.one to build this strategy. Guys this platform is my startup. I started up this company with uh, Yashu and Satyam and this entire playlist is for tradomate.one only. In the past I have made videos like RSI divergence, pullback strategy, momentum strategy, EMA plus ADX plus Doji, MACD, EMA, inside bar strategy and yes you're wrong about the Bollinger bands. In this video I'll be using some technical indicators to build Elliott wave trading strategy at tradomate.one. But before starting to code guys if you're new to my YouTube channel on this channel I turn all my viewers to successful financial programmers here i upload videos related to making trading bots implementation of ai in finance using some highly valuable finance apis making some great educational trading strategies like this one etc etc so if there's something that is interesting then click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are many more videos that will be coming on this youtube channel very soon and i bet you that this free click would increase your skill sets significantly but before that guys a quick disclaimer through this video neither me nor tradomate.one is giving any recommendations or advice on investment or trading strategies please do detailed due diligence before putting your real money into any strategy including this one perfect guys so this is the platform which is tradomate.one the link is in the description section as it mentions it is an ai powered intelligence platform Uh, which is built to enhance traders effectiveness to start using this platform just click on this button which is get started for free i'm pretty sure that most of you guys have already created a free account here because i made multiple videos on it already so because i have the account it has redirect me to the dashboard directly i'll quickly go through the platform on the left hand side you can see dashboard where i have all the trading bots here i have built a lot of uh, trading bots already so you can see all of them here secondly builder the place uh, the place where we'll be building our trading strategies we'll come to that part later docs is the place where you have you'll have the detailed documentation of how to use the platform how to use different uh, um, functions in the python code that we'll be building last but not the least which is the discord community guys we call it tradomate army Uh, i highly insist you to explore this uh, community because there are many more traders who are interacting with each other and with tradomate team on their trading strategies so yes check the discord community now perfect so i'll just click on this button which is create new bot it will ask me to select uh, uh, one of them which is python bot creator or rule based logic creator as of now we only have the python bot creator launched so yes i'll click on proceed very soon we'll have the rule based logic creator and gen ai strategy builder as well so yes please stay tuned to it cool now it gives us some uh, uh, templates on uh, uh, like on different types of uh, trading strategies again these are no way any recommendations from the platform these are some basic templates to help you start code from the beginning so i'll just select the ema crossover strategy and click on proceed now it asks uh, which stock should i select currently we have indian stocks us stocks and cryptocurrencies on the platform i'll select say bharti airtel for this uh, strategy a few comments that i have got in the last videos that i should mention that some of the strategies only work for a few stocks only and yes that is true um for uh, like different stocks we need to check different types of strategy for elite wave i am going with bharti airtel because it has shown a very good trend in the past uh, which is quite good for uh, strategies like e uh, elite wave to make good returns perfect on the top uh, you can see this uh, candlesticks chart uh, this is the ticker which is bharti airtel.ns exchange is nsc currency is indian rupees this is the candlesticks uh, interval for example if i select 4 hours it will refresh and uh, uh, make a 4 hours candlesticks chart on the bottom you can see the python code of ema crossover strategy which of course we will change i'll quickly go through it so we have exposed our own library called tradomate import tradomate stm all the functions which are required for building trading bots are available on this particular library the first function is to introduce our inputs and the second function which is my strategy is to introduce our trading strategy in the end i am plotting ema in this example so let's do one thing i will change some of these things so let me just delete this section i'll keep the initial capital to 50000 rupees only the length i'll just 
change it to the moving average length ma length is equal to a bigger length say 100 quantity is for example one only and we'll consider the stop loss and take profit levels as it is now before writing the strategy on elite fair let's first understand what is elite fair so if we um, google it you'll see this particular chart which is basically a complete Elliott wave uh, consists of multiple trends upward and downwards so for example in this case the one is an upward trend then there is a smaller downward trend which is two then three is a, 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 another upward trend it's called the impulsive wave then um, there, there's another downward trend which is corrective wave another impulsive wave this entire segment is impulsive move and then we have a correction in the market we are going down now a b and c these are the corrective moves. So what we need to understand here is we need to figure out what are the impulsive waves how to define it and what are the corrective waves and how to define it these are the two things that we need to understand if you click on this uh, chart this is also the same and you can read more about this thing right so i'll come back to our code in order to calculate the uh, wave the impulsive and corrective wave we need to define a period uh, for that so i'll introduce one more input which is config dot wave period it is say 15 uh, rest is the same only let's delete this entire segment as of now rather than ema i would be interested in sma the so moving average is equal to tm dot ta dot sma data dot close and this one is config dot MA length that's one thing now we need to define the impulsive and the corrective waves for that we'll calculate the price swing highs and lows right so for example if i just consider this graph i will see what is the highest high for a particular time period and i'll calculate the lowest lows for the same body particular uh, uh, window and then and then i'll keep on ruling it right so so i'll have an upper bound and lower bound considering the higher highs and lower highs if the close price is near the higher highs then it's an impulsive uh, wave then we'll um, buy that particular stock if the close price is near the corrective wave which is the lower lows and in that case we'll sell that's a simple strategy so for that we will introduce the swing high and swing low the swing high is equal to data dot high rolling window is uh, config dot wave period which is introduced here i think the spelling needs to be this yeah perfect dot max the same swing low is equal to data dot low dot rolling window is config dot wave period dot min perfect so let's first see how does it look like so i'll just copy this and paste it two times the first one is moving average so i'll replace it with ma this one is ma uh, the color is say blue overlay is equal to true Second one is swing high, copy this and paste it here. The third one is swing low, I'll copy this and paste it here. This is swing high and this one is swing low. The color here should be green and this one should be red. Over is equal to two only. Let's see if I run this, how does it look like? Cool. So uh, over here, of course, all the numbers are zero because I'm not taking any orders yet. Um, if we zoom it a bit, perfect, it looks like this. So what it says is basically if the price is near the uh, uh, high, highest highs, which is uh, near the green line, then in that case, it's a, it's an upward trend or I would say the impulsive wave. The second is the, if the price is near the red line, which is the lowest lows, we are considering it as the corrective wave. Now, the second condition that I need to mention here is that the close price should be more than the moving average uh, for us to consider it as an impulse wave. Why? Because we are tracking the trends and the second is the close price should be less than the uh, moving average if we are considering it as a corrective wave right so i'll repeat two conditions one thing is for the impulse wave the price should be near the green line and second is the price should be the close price should be greater than the moving average for the corrective wave price should be near the red line and the price should be less than the moving average as simple as that so let's come back to our code now i'll provide some if and else condition if data dot high dot i lock minus one which is the last high price is equal to the swing high dot i lock minus one and the moving average last moving average is less than the date uh, the last close price which is what we discussed then in that case simple which is tm dot enter lo uh, long position market quantity is this one config dot quantity comma comment is pulse long comma stop loss percent is equal to config dot stop loss pct and take profit percent is equal to take profit pct well let's do one thing i'll just exclude these as of uh, these things as of now and comment these two as well i just want to see what are the numbers without stop loss and take profit so this is the impulse wave we'll comment impulse wave here second is corrective wave which is bearish uh, correction elif the same thing but in the downward side which is data dot last low which is data dot low dot i lock minus one 
is less than or equal to swing low and then uh, the last value of it and the moving average is greater than the close price then in that case i'll take a short position so enter short position config dot quantity comma comment is corrective short perfect this one should be greater than equal to this one. Perfect. So let's see, let's run it and let's see what are the results. The number of orders are very small, which is 14 only. I would like to increase it to at least 30 or somewhere around that. The net profit is uh, uh, small, 1.92%, but I, I think we'll have to increase the quantity because yeah, currently it's just one quantity and we have the initial capital of 50,000. Of course, we need to in increase it. Maximum drawdown is this one. Win rate is not that great. Profit factor is decent. Uh, let's move to the ne next step. We clicked on the in-depth backtesting and you uh, will see the results of how the strategy has performed historically. This is the equity curve. Over here, you will see the second layer of backtesting, which are things like sharp ratio, uh, comma ratio, etc. At tradeomate.one, we say there is a three-layered backtesting approach, which is basically we split it into three different segments to make it easy to understand uh, and also very insightful. If you click on orders, You'll see all the orders individually, one of one by one. And the last thing is, which is the scenario analysis, which is the most loved feature of Tradomate.one as of now. Click on market trend and I'll click on test the scenario. So what it, it basically does is basically it, uh, splits the entire segment into three different parts, which is uh, which are bullish, bearish, and sideways. And we'll get an understanding of how our strategy worked in at the time of bullish trend, at the time of bearish trend, and at the time of sideways market. Just to have an idea of whether my strategy is only working for any particular trend or not. So that's the reason it is the most loved feature. So thank and, and thank you so much guys for giving a great feedback for this feature. We have seen a great bullish trend historically. So yeah, it's doing pretty good in the bullish time only. Uh, if you talk about the bearish time in the sideways market, it's not that great. So we need to uh, exclude some of the trades that we are doing in the sideways market and we need to take more trades at the bullish time. What I can do here is basically I can provide some um, uh, some close condition as well. That's one thing. Second is I will need to provide the uh, stop loss and take profit levels as well because I want more positions to be taken here. There are only 14 trades which, are, which we are taking right. So I'll uncomment these two things. Increase the quantity to say 50. I'll make a higher stop loss and uh, uh, take profit level. So say four is stop loss and one is to three uh, risk reward ratio. So 12 would be the take profit level. I'll come here in the enter long position and I'll just write stop loss percent is equal to config dot stop loss PCT and take profit percent is equal to take profit PC. The same thing here as well, the short position. The last thing, which is the close condition, just write exit condition. Now, what is the exit condition? So what I'm gonna do here is basically if uh, <clears throat> we have taken a long position or whether it's a long position or a short position, if we cross the moving average line, then we'll close that position. Suppose in this area, we took a short position here. If you cross the moving average, which is this area, we'll close this position. Same goes with the long as well. Perfect. So this is the condition that I made, which is uh, the last close price. Uh, if the last close price is less than or equal to the last moving average, but second last close price is greater than or equal to the second last moving average. That's one thing. Second is vice versa, which is the last close price is greater than the last moving average, but the uh, second last cl close is less than or equal to the second last moving average. Then we can say that the close price and the moving average price have crossed each other. And in that case, close all positions. So let's click on save and run and let's see what are the results. And that's looking pretty good. We have the net profit of close to 90%. CAGR is again close to 25%. Maximum drawdown is in control. Profit factor is 4.4 and we have actually made a great trading strategy using Elite Wave. And that is the most optimal way of how to use Tradomate.one. Perfect guys. So I hope you loved this video. If you didn't write the code with me, it's absolutely fine guys. The link is in the description section. You can directly copy and paste this code. Secondly, if you liked even one thing about this video, guys, please click on the like button. It really helps with the algorithm. Also hit on the subscribe button and the bell icon because there are many more videos that are coming on this YouTube channel. And I bet you that you will learn a lot with this YouTube channel with me. Lastly, I'll put more videos on Tradomate for a few weeks. So yes, please stay tuned to it. Last but not the least guys, uh, check out the discord community and start talking and having a conversation with other super traders thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end you can click here to subscribe to my youtube channel over there you'll see this entire playlist on tradomate.one and over there you'll see this walkthrough video of tradomate.one platform keep learning keep financial programming and i'll see you very very soon in the next video next saturday until then peace